Hello everyone, my name is Vania Moreno. I'm going to talk to you about the analysis of U.S. gasoline prices, EDA, and prediction. I'm an electronics and communications engineer turned into data analyst. I have aspirations to get energy domain expertise and provision in time series forecasting. These are the data science methods applied in this work, feature engineering, exploratory data analysis, and time series forecasting, including autoregression models, ARIMA, and Facebook Profit. I'm going to explain you to you the internal and external variables that influence gasoline prices. Also, the main question is, how much will cost the gasoline for the rest of 2023 and the first months of 2024 in the U.S.? Just to start, let's remind the gasoline is sold at gallon per dollar. Then, why is it important to study the gasoline prices in the U.S.? In North America, the gasoline is cheaper in the U.S., hence, if the gasoline prices go up there, also in Canada and Mexico as well. Crude oil makes up more than half of the price of gasoline, while the other components are almost equally distributed. Also, demand is an important component of the prices of gasoline. The graph shows the behavior of the retail prices of gasoline affected by historic events such as 9-11, Katrina hurricane, the banking crisis, Middle East instability, crude oil depreciation, COVID-19 pandemic, and the Ukraine-Russia conflict. As mentioned before, the demand directly influences gasoline prices. At the same time, weather temperature impacts human demand. With that said, gasoline is more expensive in the summer and more affordable in the winter. This graph gets more in-depth about gasoline prices during the year. We can see the prices are higher in May, June, and July. This is because in warmer months, there are frequent transportation activities such as traveling, commuting, and shipping goods. On the contrary, gasoline is cheaper in January and specifically in December because people stay more at home due to the holidays and also it's cold outside. Here, we can see there are external variables that interrelate to the gasoline prices. When the consumer price index is high, it means in high inflation when goods and services get more costly, including gasoline. Likewise, gasoline production and distribution is a part of the gross domestic product. This means that when gasoline prices go up, the GDP increases as well. A basic forecasting practice is lagging time steps from the original time series. In this comparison, we found that five weeks or less prior to the current data can capture most all of the fluctuations in gasoline prices. In contrast, one year lag still reminds us the prices in the times of the COVID-19. The second forecast method was ARIMA. Actually, the training data covered a part of the COVID-19 in order to help ARIMA to fit data during the, this dramatic event, and the real proof is to see if can get a hint of the spike in prices of gasoline during the conflict between Ukraine and Russia. However, it totally failed because it projects a skyrocketing range of prices. This could happen if suddenly the oil reserves dry out. Fortunately, a prediction was possible through Facebook Profit, which projects a gasoline price stabilization with a lower tendency. Although this forecast is not perfect, it's not terrible at all and we are going to see it in the following table. Based on the mean absolute percentage error, we can say that autoregressive models were the most effective forecasting method for gasoline prices with percentages of 5 and 16%, followed by Facebook Profit, which got a 5.99 in training data and 28% in testing data. The forecasting job was harder because of the diverse fluctuations in the trend. For instance, Facebook Profit forecasted prices of gasoline were 92 cents and 75 cents below the U.S. Energy Information Administration site for the years 2023 and 2024. As the scientists, stakeholders, or a average person, we need to follow the unraveling of future events such as the development of Ukraine, Russia war, electric cars development, and the gradual oil reserves depletion. This work will use of the following techniques in order to get a more closer prediction, like find trend change points in Facebook profit, pre-COVID and post-COVID era, try to forecast with XG boosts, 
time series with deep learning. I want to thank everyone in this program for your support. Definitely, I'm going to miss you. These are my contact details, some reference, and thanks for your attention.